Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you the Champs News live at 3. Getting things kicked off with our portal review of Big Robert from the Empirics. He has very nearly a 3 million talent roster, just 10,000 away. Actually, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if he had that. League 18, 314 superstars. He's been playing 1,551 days, 1,550 consecutive. It looks like he started, said, nah fam, for one day. And then he's like, ah, actually, I changed my mind. I'm all in. 92% win percentage, 93.7 in the last 30 days, so a bit higher there. 1,386 battles won. And we got a little bit of jelly here because he's got Long Beach 93 Snoop Dogg. Super, super ridiculously hard-hitting acrobat. I am very jelly of this. Uh, he's got Zombie Lashley, the Albighty. Fantastic showboat. So, so good. Um... Low charge, awesome in feud, showdown, you name it. We got the Apex Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Great choice there. Uh, Embrace the Vision, Seth. Really like this card. Have a lot of uses for him. And then, of course, Tech Steamboat. Super, super good tech. Those countdown gems don't care. Great top five, man. Uh, very, very nice. Definitely incredibly jealous of the Snoop. 41 five stars. 194 stars, 81 three stars, and one two star. Uh, my man just has me a little nervous here. He has 59 strikers and only 61 showboats. So, I'm sorry, he has 59 tricksters. I think I said strikers. Uh, anyway, only two more showboats than strikers. So, I'm not sure if you understand just how good showboats are, sir. I need you to refocus on your showboats. It is the best class in the game. Uh, 12 Hall of Famers, 151 Best Feud Rank, last 365, 1,728 Faction Heals in the last 30 days, 278 Feud Wins. We got a 173rd finish in Cash Me If You Can, Inhuman Rampage Solo Contest, Beauty and the Beast, Team Extreme, and another Cash Me If You Can. Sounds like potentially a fellow Tap Joyer. Uh, very nice job on your events there. Again, fantastic job uh, on the top of your roster, sir. Uh, what are your next moves um, that you're making? Let me know. I'm curious. Because uh, these are all really, really good. And uh, thank you for redeeming this portal shout-out and letting me do it. And I'm very happy to have you in the stream, so I appreciate it very much. Uh, let's take a look at the offers today. Um, there is a cash event going on, which we'll talk about when we get in the game. There are stamps. There's a message in the game that there was an issue with the daily claim. Um, I'm going to see about claiming mine now. Uh, I found on the portal, it's a good idea to reload the web page before you claim things and make sure you're still logged in. Uh, that may, seems to make it go smoother. So just a little tidbit there. Um, if you want to, to double check and make sure if you reload the web page, uh, before you claim, it usually goes smoother. It looks like this one worked fine. Like I said, there was an in-game message. We'll check that out when we're in-game. Um, so, cash event going on. The banner offer is for cash. Um, also, 36 pulls. Actually, it's not for cash. I lied. This is the one we talked about yesterday. Never mind. This is a $200 offer for cash. Very expensive offer. Uh, also get 100 stunning Steve shards. Um, it's expensive. I... Don't know how I feel about that other than to say it's expensive and I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, so I'm probably not good at for giving advice on that. Uh, normal pricing on cash here. You do get 6 million coin bonus uh, emerald token and 500 TP. Uh, probably not crazy about it for me. Oh, also on the stamps, uh, it's the normal um, stuff. I think we talked about this maybe, maybe yesterday. I can't remember, but Steve and... Uh, Damien shards in there as well as the rubies. I generally like the second milestone for the 250 bonus rubies. Uh, if you still need forge shards, 17 and a half million coin in this one with 1500 TP, 10 tier four epic metal bags, the cash, and then the forge shards. Um, so there's that. If you missed on Steph and she's really, really good, plenty of shards available with pulls here. Um, on this one, 17 pulls, 125 Steph shards, 5 million coin, 500 TP, $50. If you need 250 Steph shards, 
um, plus 34 pulls and 10 million coin. I think that's actually good value for our game, and I think Steph is actually going to be one of the very best feuding um, females in this game, uh, right at the top of the list, to be honest. Um, so if one of these offers gets him, gets her for you, I get it. Like I said, this is kind of normal pricing on a on fi on 17 pulls here. Uh, plus you get the Steph shards and bonus stuff. So even though it's on the higher end, I get going for that. Stunning Steve, same sort of thing. 100 Steve shards with 17 pulls, 5 million coin. Uh, if this offer gets you Steve, or if you need to do two of them even, uh, I think I would probably get that too solid value with the normal pricing on the pulls for our game um, it's a little more expensive but if you're getting a guaranteed recruit of a superstar you will use then i get it um, i also get it if you don't because it is expensive uh priest shard special same deal as the other ones if the 200 shards gets it he's a valuable trainer and solid on his own right uh, so there's that backstage pass a very unlikely i'll get it this week um just because I've already maxed the MLC, so I don't feel like I really am missing out on anything at this point. Uh, so very unlikely, especially because um, I had a big spending week for me last week, so I actually didn't buy any of the Star Frags, even though I really, really wanted to. Um, I stayed strong there, even though those were super good offers. Uh, don't forget your free daily claim here on the Forge Shards. Don't mind my uh, messenger going off. It's not yours. It's mine. See if we have any surprise events going on. It looks like it's the standard 5, 15, 25. We're back to that, right? Yep, 5, 15, 25. And then diminishing returns after that. And flash market. What do we got in here? Let's uh, not do a reroll because it's still on cooldown. Uh, but don't forget to do yours. So let's go over to the game now and check out that uh, cash loot and the um, the event as well. So it is for Priest and Stunning Steve shards. Uh, you can see I'm a few milestones in. I may or may not have continued to... Um, Blow my tap joy cash on strap loot. I will post a video on that. No spoilers. Um, but I did spend all my cash again. I have a huge problem when it comes to the uh, strap loot. Uh, first milestone is great value, in my opinion, for 750 cash. Uh, 1500 cash, eh, not as good. 30,000. <laughs> Two bit healing was engaged on the pull. Uh, I will let you discover on your own, uh, but I had faith. And uh, it probably worked out okay. So I think to the 3,000 cash spent milestone makes a lot of sense. 6 million coin, uh, a couple five-star tokens. Uh, here you can get a few more things if you want it. Maybe not worth as much. Uh, the 90,000 mark makes uh, sense for the 6 million coin too. If you have that much cash, I don't. Um, after that, you know, you get the, the 10 million here. So that's like one mega pull. Diminishing returns after that like normal. You gotta go a ways to get to the Stunning Steve shards. Uh, so, you know, if you have and do a lot of Tap Joy, if you still need Ford, if you're close to Steve and Priest, then I could see how this one would make sense. Um, otherwise, you know, I think to get to the good stuff, you really gotta spend a lot of cash. So, um, unless you can recruit them, I probably wouldn't go big on this one um, unless it recruits them for you. And then if you're doing Tap Joys, right? So... Uh, but otherwise, uh, up to 120,000 probably makes decent sense uh, for all the stuff you get. Diminishing returns after that. Leaderboard re rewards are for um, Priest and his shards. So uh, he's a pretty valuable trainer. I would expect it to go decently high, um, as I don't think a ton of his shards are out there. We're already up to 800,000. Um, I would imagine 1.3, 1.4 is where you'll see those top uh the top spots uh so the top three but we'll see how that progresses so there's that uh new tours today it's technician um or damian priest on hell mode um so just priest on hell mode the rest of them are like the other ones again i did the brett video uh the other day that's still up if you want to watch that 
Um, so let's check the in-game store. I do have a picture, courtesy a bunch of people actually sent me a picture of what that Monday $2.99 deal was if you bought it all the time. So let me pull that up. Uh, thanks to everyone who did send me the picture, uh, as it's pretty nice because I didn't buy that uh, offer. Let me pull it up right here and show you guys. For anyone curious, if you spent the $2.99 every Monday, I obviously didn't, uh, so I can't show you. This is what was in the bag. Um, you got a skill plate picker, 100 uh, Dawkins tokens, 500 Dawkins shards, and then a Ford bag. Um, actually, probably not terrible at all for people uh, chasing the Ford shard mark. It will help, uh, and if you don't have a ton of plates, I mean... I don't think there's anything to be disappointed if you spend or didn't spend on this one, to be honest. That's kind of about what I expected until I didn't get it. Then I thought it would probably be amazing because I didn't get it. And I'm, you know, skeptical like that. So, all right. So that's what that was in that. If you missed it. Um, let's see. Where are we? Here we are. Uh, so cash offers. These are going to be the same as on the portal. Better off double dipping on the portal. Same with these offers, portal, but we have nice pretty pictures here that make it easier to see. Um, these cash offers are not on the portal, but the portal ones are way better in my opinion. So, you know, there's that. Um, those, I've had better luck with the right one if I'm chasing Hall of Fame tokens. And, oh, I do want to mention free daily claim. I say this fairly often for cash events. There's two things I like using my cash on when the strap loot isn't there. Strap loot is there currently. Big fan of that loot. Uh, it's one of the few ways you can get an affiliation strap. Not that it's great odds. It's not. I'd be lying if I said it was. I've spent a lot of tap joy cash on those. Um, I do often, when I need strap parts, I buy this and just buy a ton. And you're going to get probably average about 1,800 strap parts per purchase if you want to figure that out. So there's that. And then um, the other thing is if you're short on four star gold tokens and i am like a lot of people you can do this and purchase four star gold tokens hopefully not the greatest odds but you go and do who you need let's say i need cans because i do i click on this and then i can attempt to buy one of these bags for 500 cash i would say you probably average one of uh what you're going for every three or four purchases it's not great uh but it is one way to get the cans you need, so there is that. Uh, let's take a look at the loot. There is some good ones. Spoilers. Uh, I love the strap loot. We hadn't seen it for a while. It was here last cash event, here again. Um, this is one of the best ways to try and get affiliations. You can also get some of these skill plates that you can't get any other way, like the cheap shot. Um, no other way to get that lately, so that's in there. Uh, but like uh, Butch, Kofi... Woods, Lawler, and Bray, and Steel. If you don't know what this does, it lets you use two of the trainer at the same time. So you can take two green using uh, people into feud. If you get this on Steel, you can put Steel on two people. So very, very useful. Um, actually, it's hard to state just how useful it is. And even if you get straps that aren't useful, you can sell it for parts. There's also random affiliations that can show up. So you could get a Legend one, a Hall of Fame one, um, very useful zombie ones. So uh, it's just a useful loot. Although, again, don't think you're going to hit it every time because if you watched my last pull video, you know how much cash I YOLO'd and exactly how much I didn't hit. So there's that. <clears throat> this cash loot to me is amazing. Um, it looks fantastic. I've had a bunch of people saying they were getting good pulls on it. If you're missing a lot of the featured, I think this is a great loot for you. 1.68% on featured. Uh, Lex Incredible Feuder, we know about Snoop, you got Priest, uh, you got freaking Steamboat Acrobat, who's amazing, Eddie is still really rare, I wouldn't say he's great, but he's solid and rare, Memrock, a fantastic coach, solid himself, love him, almost as a beast, we got the Dawkins here, uh, Hogan, Ivar, R-Truth, Big E, Sokka, it's a really, really good uh, pool at the top, move down to Mega Rare, potentially one of the best females in the game, if not the best, Hall of Fame China, <clears throat> and this percentage is 4.36%. Still really good stuff in there. The Hall of Fame Sarge is not. 
um, Boogeyman, RJ, Mickey. Not as crazy about Champa in there, nor these ones, but you look at the pool and again, no shards. That's really good. Super rare, you got 10%. You got Montez, Priest in there, Kyrie, you know, um, NWO Ted. Um, so again, not bad. Uh, no shards all the way down to that 10% one with some good superstars in there. Then you get to the shards, 33%, and they're actually really useful shards. So if you're close on these guys, uh, super useful shards in the rare. And moving into common, you got Miz, Priest, um, Mr. T, Austin, Drew, Cena, Bree, Hall of Fame. I mean, it's a really good loot for cash loot. Uh, two thumb, this gets Merrick's two thumbs up. If the strap loot wasn't here, I would. This is one I would be all over to get my milestones. So, um, call me crazy. Uh, we can look at the other one, but I can tell you, no matter what's in here, it's not going to be as good as the one we just looked at. So this is going to be quick. Yeah, I mean Eric, Becky, Trish, uh, Charlotte. No, definitely no, no, no. Do the other one much better, much much better. Yeah, I have seen enough. Um. If the, you're, let's actually look at the comments for you guys, because maybe if there's shards of somebody in the comments you're close to, then maybe. But the top one is so much better, and I don't, yeah, it's diluted anyway. So the only way I, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, fuse, do the other one much better. Uh, Mysterio one, probably going to be the same situation, although Macho King is in here, and he is a known weakness of mine. Um, DX Sean, not crazy. Big Show was given out free, uh, so not crazy about him in there. Definitely. So, yeah, at least there's no shards, but it's 1% only. Um, very rare. Uh, Eddie's not, yeah, mm, no, gross, yuck, nope. Uh, still liking the other one quite a bit more. At least there's some decent stuff in here, though. Um, Is that all in the featured pool? Hold on. This is missing very rare, so I wouldn't trust uh, the odds you're seeing. Because very rare isn't listed, so I have no idea what the pool odds are. Because very rare is not in there. So um, there's an extra one that you're not seeing. I have no idea where it's weighted with no very rare in there. Uh, I don't even know where to go with that. And a common pool is terrible. And of course, you know you're going to get a bunch of commons. You're probably not going to hit as many of the shards as you want. So again, maybe if you're like 50 away from DX, Sean, or Hollywood Hogan somehow, uh, Ray, then maybe. Uh, but the, the better one by far is the fifth anniversary one. It's really not that close, uh, in my opinion. So, and who uh, who knows with this one because the the thing looks like it's broken. So I I can't do a pull. I have 159 cash. Chat wants me to do a pull. It just barked at me. It says you're poor. You can't do this. See, out of cash. Did strap loot. Moral of the story: do the top cash loot exactly. All right, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully, you find this one useful. Uh, the strap loot and the fifth anniversary cash finale get two thumbs up from Merrick's. So you probably uh, will have less chance of getting what you want in the strap loot, but it's one of the only ways you're going to get those affiliation straps and some of those skill plates. So there's that. Um, but I definitely like this fifth anniversary cash finale and wish I had more cash to blow on that one. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. And good luck out there.